Hey guys, welcome back. Um, I have made a little kind of flip open. Here, I'll show you. That's the front. It flips open and it has a pocket here. And then you flip it over and there's a pocket here in the back. So like a flip open double pocket. And I'll show you real quick how I did that. I'm not going to make another one, but I had some extra paper. Uh, that didn't get folded into the book so I just took it like this and put them together and then cut out a thumb notch here and one in the back and then I glued it down this way here and then just glued here and here on this one um, the reason that I did that is because on the back it had a real pretty, uh, they had both had real pretty images and I didn't want to lose them. Even the inside of here has a pretty image on it, so, but I figured this part could be used for journaling. Now, I've got, I'm going to make like a long tag for one and then a uh, card journaling card I, I've got it tentatively stapled I gotta finish gluing it uh, but what I did was leave the little label on the side a little bit to pull it out so I've got to finish gluing that one and then glue that stuff on um, so not worried about those I mean I could add lace or something um to the bottom to cover that up I just got glue on my face there Oop. move stuff out of the way I got stuff kind of sprawled out everywhere here I don't think I want too much of it hanging off because I don't want it to get all bent and messed up there. Probably should be using the fabric scissors for this, but I'm just using my regular scissors. It'd be alright. Yep. Got a thread. Alright, 
so now we have that. I'm wondering should I round the edges at the top? I don't think I will. Okay. So that will go in there like that. And just have the little bit peeking out there. Okay. Now. Alright, I've got some book page here. A little bit more of the Polish book page left. Um, I do know that when we come back, um, Rhoda has asked if I could show her um, some tips on uh, steampunk, steampunk ephemera. Um, so I'm going to show a little bit about that and talk a little bit about steampunk and kind of how it got its start, uh, because if you don't know, it actually has to do with the Victorian era, so. Which isn't actually a real movement, but it would have been cool if it was. Okay. Label here. Do I want to put it? No, I think I'll put it like that. I'm going to put this little butterfly up here as kind of like a tab for the top. Let me glue it about halfway. Probably should have put my messy mat down. This just came off of a doily. I thought I would put it on. Yeah. Like that. Like a, you know, a small paper doily. Uh, which is what I used on the other card little piece of. It kind of gives the look of lace. So we have that. In the back, this is just made out of file folder. In the back will be used to uh, journal on. I probably should have put that on a little straighter, but it'll be alright. And it is just going to slide. right in there like that so I got a couple little pieces oh, I guess I could um, ink around the back of it because I didn't do that on either side but I'm not going to glue it down I'm just going to put it in a pocket or something so that you know both sides can be utilized And then this part can be journaled on. What do I want to? Could put that on there. Also have uh, could put one of my Victorian ladies on there. Some of them are facing the wrong direction. Uh, kind of like her dress though. Hmm. Or could just put a butterfly on. That looks good with the colors on that side, I think. So. Mm. 
all around but um didn't really want to impede the writing ability or anything I didn't want to get it too dark on there oh well come on there we go trying to get my glue back in there do I want to put a lady on there anyway Hmm. She's a little small compared to the butterfly. Oop. I don't think I do. I think I'm just going to leave it like that. I also got this little uh, felt heart that's going to go in the journal somewhere. Probably just as a decoration. You know, I put it down. And a couple of other like little journaling cards. These you've seen before that I've made. And then this came in Happy Mail from Rhoda. It's got like a little belly band here. And I thought about just um, gluing it on as a belly band. So I would have like a double, double belly band. But the coloring looks really good with... I could actually just glue that down there so then it has another little spot hmm could have put it on the inside if I'd have thought about it but I think I'll just leave it so there is another piece for the journal. I'll have to ink around that. Maybe put another tag in or a card to take up some more room. Go ahead and ink around that really quickly. It may have been inked around already, but I'm just going to add a little bit more ink to it. So it'll pop off the page a little bit. Okay, that just takes up a little bit more room. Okay, and I might... Um, since I've got these two left, I might make a flip out with one of these. I don't want it to be too wide, though. That's pretty. I could actually turn that into a side tuck. Um, because the paper itself isn't too thick unless it's folded up. I think that's exactly what I'll do with that. I think I'll just glue that down and turn it into a side tuck.
kind of inking around here isn't going to show up too much, but... At least get rid of any stark edges we got going on there. And that'll look good, I believe. Let's check and see what it'll look like on one of the pages. Let's see here. So say for example, yeah we could do it where it was going this way or you know on the opposite side or something. Put it in the middle as a side tuck that way. That would be real pretty. All right, so it it fits in there really good without taking up too much room. So yeah, when we come back, uh, I'll do a little steampunk work and then explain a little bit about. How steampunk got its start and um, whatnot, and then we'll uh, do another uh, substitution series video, and then we'll get back to the to this journal so we can finish decorating the stuff and or you know making the stuff and then uh, putting it in. Let me. I gotta clean up my mess here I'm trying to keep my mat clean so I don't have to keep replacing one although my gray mat I had for about a year but it sure didn't last any any time at all and I know this comes off as green on, on camera, but it's actually teal. But, I mean, not that I care what color it is. It all matches anyway, because I have multiple colors in here. But anyway, I, oops, I hit the microphone. Put my stuff up real quick, so I can get that out of the way. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I will see you guys back here again really soon. Bye.